Hello everyone, welcome to episode 2. Just started combat in the new little bog area. Uh, we got our fox little hat on, gave us some extra HP and lets us heal when we get attacked and things as well. Uh, the rope heads are a cursed item, so we have all the lovely curses. Let's get this battle underway. We are gonna swing, swing, and do this. Oh, I sap strength from them. That's right. And lose some strength. Try to poison me. Great, I increased my lunge damage for this turn. I didn't even get a single lunge card. Goodbye. Oh. There was a bug inside. <laughs> How dare you? Deadly combo. Um, gain one exposed on the hero and deal 30 damage. I don't want to be exposed. Deadly damage, increased damage by 4 this combat if the character is exposed. Increased by 8. Burn two random cards, return one burn card from your choice to your... No! Uh, increase damage by four of this combat. Character is exposed. Oh, so if these were together, increase by eight. But that deals eight damage, increases it by four. We'll do that. I don't really need a new weapon, but I'll take a poisoned one. The undead roam the swamps. So once again, got this for free from the devs so thank you dev team for giving me this game we're recording episodes back to back here i enjoyed this game quite a bit i wanted to share more with of it with you all they prey upon outsiders yet for some reason they leave the denizens of the swamplands in peace the undead of the rotten bog are not fully dead yes they're very old even ancient but still they are living beings I'm not an expert on the undead. Zombies are zombies. Right. But strictly speaking, they are alive. Although it's a stretch to call their existence a life. They were brought to this state by the cult's ritual drink, Ikor of Might. Huh. Uh, let's see what this poison blade does. Attributes get backstab, deal to damage, resist the cost of attacks, and to zero before use. Deal 10 damage. Reset the cost of attacks in the hand to zero before use. It burns. Poison blade. Burn, deal 10 damage, and inflict 5 poison. Poison blade now. I surprised I could take the cursed one off. A bug! Again, that. A reduced copy of the divine might. A swollen, throbbing belly resembled a festering tumor on a decaying corpse, ready to rupture and blow into fountains of. Headed goo. The might shuffled its disgusting legs, dragging its precious tumor along the ground towards me. Might shouldn't be this big. Ooh, it's an elite battle. Oh! Gee whiz, golly. Alright. Well, I'm gonna poison the big guy. That's something I think about for a little bit.
Then hand at the end of the turn, take two damage for each HP lost. All enemies restore one HP. Help as well. Use that. We'll use this. We're not exposed. That's a lot of damage coming my way. Should have done that. Till the end of battle. Do it. We need it. What's this elixir made from? Elite battle is a perfect time to use the zero cost. Your hands are getting weak. They can no longer hold the weapon. Don't lie to me. <gasps> oh, they said until the end of battle is just that round. That is a big difference. Battle and round is very big. Very big difference. Uh, reduce this to six damage, or just that to nothing. Here you go. Both poison now. Okay. This. Twenty-four damage. Still, it's missing that might. This, so that, and this, because you're not gonna hurt me. Oh, I still have another one. Take it again. I didn't need to use that elixir. Though, I'll say those extra attacks that round did help quite a bit. You've acquired a taste for buffs. Oh no. Oh no. Hmm? Look at all this corruption. Ain't getting through, buddy. Oh no. Actually, are gonna try to do damage to me this turn. Uh, I'd tell you, I st still have more block, and you're gonna die for then anyway. Take it. Okay, 8 block deal 6 damage. I like that. To the start of the turn, draw 1. It costs 0 for this turn. But it costs me all my stuff. Gain okay, 1 strength and 1 agility. I like the block and attack, but I also like the strength and agility. I think this is more helpful. Ooh, what's this one? Maximum HP by 10, gain 2 bomb, so that's healing. This one strengths me and the enemies. Lose one strength and gain agility. What does agility do? Oh, it gains block. So I lose strength, but I get more block. I'm gonna go in the middle and take the troll helmet. Rewards. What's this one? I already get this. Upon taking health damage, deal 10 damage to the attacker and restore 5 health. I like this. Oh, I gotta give one up. Okay. So I can lower my health back down to 100. And not steal strength. In exchange, I deal 10 damage to the attacker. He shyman hits me and restore 5 health. I think ultimately, HP wise, this would be better. My forging. 
What's going on? Can I block draw a card? This block from cards my one? Yes. All sorts of stuff. Uh this was the stuff I had before, right? No, that's two evasion. Five armor. Thirty block. Five armor restores every turn. Alright, thirty blocks just straight up block. That's gonna be good against potential big bosses. Alright. So now do we do the treasure or the mystery? I think we do the treasure. Right, where am I at right now? That's where I'm at right now. So do the item. Mystery treasure. No. We do mystery, treasure, mystery, mystery. I want to get to the altar. So I do another mystery. Swamp Dweller approached me with a very strange request. He me to protect his honorable ancestors who were being slaughtered by strangers in gilded armor. Without a question, ancestors should be revered and protected, but I mean, they are zombies. It's not chosen, as I say. Um, I mean, your ancestors were trying to kill me, so get out of here. Not surprised at all. The cultists have long been out of their minds. Drop him off. But before running away, that freak splashed something nasty on my face. Fantastic. Ouch. I mean, your ancestors tried to kill me, dude. I don't know what to tell you. Since the owner couldn't be found nearby, let's just assume this is all mine. Good way to live, live your life. Ooh, goblin armor. Increase maximum HP by 20, gain 5 armor and 3 ward. That's pretty nice. Curse shield. Ooh. End of the turn, gain 2 block per strength. At the start of... Oh, I wish I still had the heads. That would have been perfect. Crimson helm. A random burnt card to the deck every second turn. That's pretty nice. I want the goblin armor. I kind of want the shield, but yeah, we'll put the armor on. Oh hey, first in the woods, I heard muffled cries for help out along a path toward the sound. The path led me to a glade where a fire had been lit, above which a huge cauldron hung. The cries were coming from inside the cauldron. Two hideous and strange old crones came out toward me. This meeting did not bode well. Hmm. Sure, I'll back them. I thought about leaving. There are good deeds. I couldn't hear the... This please coming from within the cauldron. I resolved to save the unfortunate soul. <laughs> Ooh, okay, it's gonna be tough. A strange couple. They don't look like cultists. All right, let's do this. Let's do this. I don't need block, but I want more damage. That's fine. Poison will do its work. I'll take, I'll take a little bit of damage. Thank you. 
coast. Oh, that's three. It takes my whole turn. I did not realize that. How to get rid of the ghost. Did you decide to have a rest? <laughs> Can I run? Oh, they're gonna flee. That's fine. Strength? Fortune damage, strength affects this card three times. Oh, that one. Oh. Oh, with a helmet. Cursed armor. Agility for every curse. Man. Ten at the start of battle. Own three random talent cards. I'll take this one. Some of this curse gear is just wild. And we'll take this too. Tree. Unusual zombie. To be precise, what was unusual about him was his garb. Heavy gilded armor. It's easy to run away from a walking dead man clad in heavy armor, but what if you kill him and take his armor? It would have definitely been useful to me. However, killing a zombie in armor like that would not be easy. Elite battle. Let's do it. <laughs> Temptation was too strong to resist, so I rushed into battle. I mean, I even use his armor, but brothers, let's cleanse these lads. He's far from being an ordinary zombie. Disarm mm -hmm. you, sir. Seven damage won't affect me if I have build up all that extra armor. Ooh, you strengthened yourself. Okay. Play this game. It's gonna hurt me. It's gonna hurt me. 
Oh, I had a vision. Cool. Two points. Rock flash. Let's do that one. And you can try to get through here, but it's not happening, buddy. I hit the wall. Here go. Better not to get in your way. Scrapped armor of the Fire Brothers. No damage from burning. Flaming item. Filed item. We'll lose 10 health. Gain 10 armor. The attacker takes half of the blocked damage. Well, since I'm building myself into a wall, that actually. <laughs> Could be pretty useful. Uh, yeah, let's take that. Building myself as a wall. It's disgusting. Oh, so I actually lost 30 that way. Uh, I lost a lost ward in armor 3. Oh, it gives me two infections? No, thank you. But then again, I already got that base for armor, which is a lot higher. Hi, baby. Hey, you go poppers. Dog over here, giving me kisses. Oh, good boy. Yeah, it's a good boy. I love your dad. Death idol, ancient and moldy. That death trap was just the right place for it. Should you make an offering to such dangerous and invincible forces? Um, sacrifice lots of blood. Do it. That idol I came across in the swamps. Out of twenty HP, but my max is one hundred fifty. Did the cult place it there? You're mistaken. As the cultists of the might do not honor any idols, their beliefs are of a different kind. And I'm kind. resting. I'm not training. You happen I'm to cross resting. an idol of death. Yay. They appear in wild and uninhabited areas. I don't know who places them. The worship of death is obviously a secret affair, so no one will admit of it to you. Instead of an offering of gold, it demanded my blood. That's right. By bringing your death closer, you earn its favor. I'm gonna go rest now. Time to patch up my clothes. Yes, let us rest. Oh, I don't have a healing item. Cool. Alright. I was attacked by a creature almost indescribable. I didn't know who or what it was. Whether it was connected to the cult or the undead, I didn't know its goals and motives. All I knew is that it was terrible. I had never seen anything more terrifying in my life. Ooh, boss. Ah! Look at that. It has a face and war of growth. That is a lot. I would like to ask its creator what the purpose of this creation is. Hmm? And you will get some poison, sir. <laughs> so that is the very least of what you deserve. Have mercy, have mercy on us, accept your fate. No thanks. I'm healing. Ba da ba ba. Do this. Are you exposed? You have the plague, you have poison, you do not have exposure. Well, I hate you with stuff anyway. I'm sorry. Oh, I did not realize I had that. That's okay. That's fine. How did you heal? Uh. <laughs> 
that's it. How are you healing? Oh, damage from plague restores health. I see, I see. Slowly will to land down. He can't defend forever. What is that? All of his defense is gone this time. Oh! Let's go with you. You didn't fight fair. That's good. Gonna hurt. Have you lost your sense of smell and taste? strength right now. Forty-four. Oh my goodness gracious. Exposed still now. Hmm. Almost blocked it all. I almost block it off. Ah, oh, I have agility on still. That's right. I have two evasions left still. Oh my goodness, look at all this corruption. I had no choice. I need to get rid of that. Still, that's right. I have three evasions. Took away two of them. Mm. That. Oh, I'm heck with it. <laughs> Buffing myself up. I think I'm getting some more strength. That's fine. Get my evasion back up again. Nice build going. Try and block is gained from cards, deal 4 damage. Uh, yeah. Gain 2 wound, gain 25 block. Damage, get a copy in the draw pile. One card. And that's consistently uh, a 3 damage card, but I like this one. That's a whole round battle thing. I activate that and every time I get I have so many guard cards. Okay. Amulet of resistance. Cursed amulet. Gain one energy, gain five armor. I really want the energy. So I'm not even gonna look at the other ones. Uh, cucumber elixir. Draw two cards of your choice. Eh. Uh, tirelessness. Zero cost. Alright, got a new option. Damage taken reduced by 50%. Not taking health damage, deal 2 damage to the attacker and restore 5 health. I'd, I'd rather keep this still. 
Because they have to hit me to do damage to me, so you know. Um, what do we want to upgrade? Upgrade this again? Can. Let's do it. Alright, so there's the next section of the game, y'all. Once again, if you enjoy it, check it out on Steam. Thank you to the devs for giving me a copy. And until next time, may your adventures both in and out of game be successful.